with these guns that you're not supposed to have. Well, see, the, that's that's the part they pass up all the time. Yeah, it is. And when you when you when you address crime in our society, we always get bogged down when people start babbling about. Well, we have to understand the root causes of crime: lack of jobs, lack of hope, this, that, and the other thing. What that does then is it excuses the individual who's committing the crime. If you want to deal with the crime problem in a community, all you have to do is identify as many criminals as you can and get them out of society. It's that simple. If you've got if you've got 85,000 people running in a, around in a community, 85,000 people who have so little morality that they are willing to use guns to get what they want in life, or if you have 40,000 people running around, which community is safer, the one with 85,000 or the one with 40,000? Well, Clearly the one with 40,000. Therefore, if you want to make Milwaukee twice as safe as it is right now, let's get half the criminals off the street. But they never focus on stuff like that. Instead, they babble about having people bring their guns in. Now, if you're somebody who plans to use your gun, if you're somebody who plans to use your gun to make money by hurting other people, why would you bring the gun into the city to sell it to them? Well, that's why would you do it? Also, the thing is, that they're always looking for these root causes of crime. The root cause of the crime that we have these days is a direct result of the liberal ideology. Well, you're exactly right about that. Thanks for the call, Dale. And it is a direct result. To uh, Jeff in Bayview. Jeff, you're on Talk Radio WISN. Hi, Mark. How are you doing? I'm great. Uh, I just have to, you know, I'm listening to this and I'm reading about this, and you have to think of what a preposterous idea this actually is. First of all, whoever has guns that are going to be sold back or going to be sold to the city are worthless guns, and the people you're trying to target are not going to sell their guns. This is the whole thing about Norquist, <clears throat> Norquist trying to say that, we're, that he's bringing about gun control. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm for gun control if you could have it, but there's no such thing. You'll never, ever have gun control. And the best way to do it, like you said, is to make it impossible for people who are shooting other people, stealing, robbing with guns, put them away, throw them away. They're worthless. Well, you're, you're right. You're, but, but, but my God, Jeff, you don't understand what drives people to a life like this. And if only guns weren't so accessible, oh, you know, you know, they wouldn't I'm, be uh, I'm just so sick of that violating argument. the rules I'm of so society. I'm so sick of that argument about what drives people to this. It doesn't matter if you live in the core, if you live on the south side or the east side. It doesn't matter where you live, Mark. It's all about, it's all about morals. It's and about morality, and it's about whether or not you can get away with it. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. And we've decided... That we don't, that we aren't going to make it more difficult for them to uh, to get away with it. Right. So therefore, they do. Which is why the nomination of Clarence Thomas to the Supreme Court was so important, because Thomas is a law and order judge, and he's not one of those people who wants to tie the hands of a police officer so that they can't do their jobs. Mm -hmm. Things like that will begin to address the crime problem. The city buying guns back is crazy. It's just crazy the only way it's going to and trust me if they have this thing and all these guns do come in because they're charging it because they're paying an arm and a leg for these guns media is going to come oh my the great success of the gun program they're going to be showing all of these guns they won't there won't be any follow-up as to what happens with the cash or the food vouchers that are handed out for the guns the success of the gun buyback will be totally dependent on how much money the city is dumb enough to spend to buy the gun. There will be no success with this program. Well, unless they pri unless the price is high enough, and then it's going to be then it's going to be very successful. They're going to get a bunch of guns, and the people are going to take their cash or food vouchers and turn around and buy and buy more guns out on the street.